So I bring in all the wishes and greetings to Dr. Katha Bhavana for scoring a rank number four in the specialty of MCA Surgical Gastroenterology in any SS session, April 2023. Congratulations and best wishes to you, Doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. So can we know a brief background history of yours from where you started till date? Uh, like I did my MBBS from NRA Medical College, Guntur, Andhra Pradesh, and my MS General Surgery from Jipmer. I passed out Jipmer in Jan 2022. After that, I worked as SR for five months, and then I started preparing for November in ASS. There, I got rank of 12. Uh, so again, I like I did not get the seat, so I started preparing again. Now I got four. So for 12, what happened? Did you go to the, I mean, after the interview, it was 12 or common merit list, it is 12? Last after time. interview, AML 12, sir. Okay. So you missed by how many, I mean, all of them took the seats uh, before uh, that? Uh, last seat got filled at rank 10. Okay. So this is for AIMS, New Delhi alone, no? Uh, like uh, overall, like AIMS, uh, like one all person, all there were nine seats, one person took in need. So till 10 got filled up. Okay. So you exactly missed by one seat, actually. Uh, before me, 11th person. Oh, 11th and... person, you. Yeah. So then you uh, determined to go ahead with the same process or go to the need? I know, like I wanted to do from Central Institute only. So for November also, I prepared for INI only. And now also again. like But after that, uh, because it was so close and I missed it, so I got a bit down. But then it took some time to pick myself up and to again gain the momentum. Like once it's lost, it will take some time to again get into that study mode and all. So it took me some time. Uh, from February, again, I started proper preparation for uh, April. Now, uh, can you share some of your preparation strategy, how you achieved uh, this rank? Uh, like uh, my main thing was uh, I read Sebastian mainly. Uh, for uh, general surgery, like there were particular topics like urology, trauma, breast and endocrine, which gets asked repeatedly. Well, those topics I read from Bailey and Love. Uh, Sebastian, I read from uh, all the topics uh, at least three to four times, like while MS or in November or now. And uh, Shackleford and Bloomgart, like I, I did not read in my MS. And now I did not have time to read because it was only two, three months time. So I went through recall videos, Basinson's recall videos were there. Like Sir Cover did them from April 2021, uh, AIMS April 2021 and then all in ESS. So I went through all the Basinson's recall videos and I noted down the to topics which are getting asked repeatedly. So those topics I read from Shackleford and Bloomgard. I did not read the entire books. So, so were you able to go through the, all the videos of Dr. Basant for surgical gastro? Uh, like I went through some topics which I found like very different. Like uh, liver was a topic which uh, I like uh, I had a lot of difficulty because uh, liver they last mainly from bloom, HPB they last mainly from bloom gut and I never read bloom gut. And the bloom gut first 10 chapters were a bit difficult for me. So, Basinsar videos helped me a lot in those chapters because those uh, basic chapters, uh, they were extensively covered in Bloomberg, especially the physiology and everything. The imaging, everything was covered extensively in Bloomberg. And it's not possible for me to go through that. But Basinsar covered all the important topics. It, took, it was there like four hours, I think. In four hours, I covered all the topics. So liver was uh, one part we, which I had difficulty with and Basilsa videos helped me a lot in that. So what about your uh, MCQ practice and grand test? Uh, were you giving at frequent intervals? Uh, grand test, like for November, uh, I did not, like I had only two months then. Like I resigned my starship and I moved back home and to settle and again. So that time I watched videos, I read Sebastian, I read my notes and uh, I was not able to even do the Q-Bank completely. Uh, this breast and endocrine videos, I listened to your general surgery videos. So those I did from the general surgery Q-Bank, SG Q-Bank also I was not able to complete because I did not have time. So this time I did uh, all the grand, six grand tests were there for INI. So I did all the grand tests. 
Uh, Q Bank also, I did most of the Q Bank I did. And uh, how many questions were able to attend this exam? Uh, Seventy-seven questions I gave. So. Okay, great. Now, like, I... have a fifty percent chance of getting correct. Also, like, uh, I went ahead and attempted it. Like, if I, I was able to rule out two, and I am confused between two. So there is a fifty percent chance. All those questions also, I went ahead and answered. Three questions are like I have no idea, so I left them. <laughs> so why surgical gastro? Uh, like uh, it was uh, where I was exposed most in my MS uh, because in Jipmer, like there were six units and we get rotation, but mostly we go through GI cases mostly. and uh, because i have lot of exposure to gi and it was something i felt it's interesting and it's also a bit of comfortable zone for me like uh, to go now and study for plastic or ctvs <laughs> <laughs> so i thought it it's interesting like it's not like uh, just because comfort it's interesting it's something i already worked on i know the basics so that's why i wanted to Uh, do NCA. Very nice. Now, what is the message that you want to give to the juniors who are aspiring for uh, MCH uh, specialty and also for MCA surgical gastroenterology? <laughs> I think like what I saw with my juniors uh, is that uh, because from my batch the NEET SS and NEET SS pattern changed from twenty twenty two only NEET uh, NEET SS pattern changed. So now all my juniors are like uh, NEET SS has only six seats. in july and nine seats in december and some 2000 people will be writing so they are like uh, taken back because there are less seats and all uh, and most of them are preparing for neat ss so but i would like to tell that uh, neat ss has a vast topic so and they have 150 questions and it's a 3 hour exam and this is like 80 questions one and a half hour exam and it's 50 questions will be from gi surgery so if they are really interested in gi surgery and they wanted to do in central institute it's give it try for any assess definitely it's not impossible because i did it without reading shackleford and lungat completely so it's not necessary that you have to read shackleford and lungat entirely so i think it's important to give it try for any assist not completely leave it out of it very nice doctor I mean i think this advice everybody should follow uh, because it's a very specific exam actually any assist is a very specific specialty exam so the focus also can be there can be used for the mch program itself after it has been chosen and uh, it's a uh, time to thank whom or you want to thank you can use this platform to thank whom or you want to do so like uh, first i'd like to thank my mom like she supported me a lot through this journey like whenever i fell down like she is the one who kept me motivated especially after that november i was like very depressed and all like she is the one who encouraged me i thought like to give up and continue in general surgery but she is the one who encouraged me and and you know so i'd like to thank my mom and uh, apart from that uh, i would like to thank all my teachers and uh, speed faculty and especially basan sir that uh, liver videos and those recall videos like they are really good our sir discusses all in mcqs like you give an mcq and then you go into the topic like uh, when we are studying for pg we feel like we have to read entire theory first and then do mcqs but now it's super specialty and we did ms exam we already know the theory correct you know the so, uh it's important to do mcqs more because uh, there will be sometimes double negatives which will be a positive so those are tricky questions where you will get them wrong only by doing more and more mcqs you will realize where you are doing mistakes and avoid them in the actual exam so basan sir videos all are on mcqs sir discusses an mcq and then discusses the option and then go back and uh, then discuss the topic so i felt that is very good for super specialty preparation great doctor so thanks for your time and the valuable advice and sharing your experience and we once again uh, congratulate you for wonderful achievement also wish you all the best 
and all the success for a great career as a surgical gastroenterologist in years to come. Best wishes to you, doctor. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.